I have a symbol on my wall. This is the Archangel Raziel symbol, and it's oh, the yeah, seven. Oh, yeah, I have that, too. Yeah, you, I have that in my bedroom, as a matter of fact. And do you, you, you gave us this as a, as a gift from my father. Oh, my, the seal of the seven archangels? The seal yeah. of the seven archangels. In yeah. one session, um, you, you, you bought that for us. Uh, our dad apparently made you buy that for us. Yeah, because we're studying, you know, we're kind of students now of the Kabbalah and the archangels and kind of like learning about other, I always liken like the law of attraction to elementary school and like the Kabbalah and the archangels, like as the PhD. I mean, that stuff is so it's it, the learning is unlimited. Oh, I like the fact too, that your dad didn't like, he presented it to you, but he didn't like force it you let you find it for yourself that's oh yeah the way it's supposed to yeah be. you brought it up to my mom uh originally uh, me, originally and we, back on the yeah, and we and we were kind of like you know like oh okay and then we didn't take it seriously and then michael went and then it got brought up again and then mm -hmm. we're like oh you know let's buy the books and then we bought 54 books you yeah, know like well, each, each, each of us bought a copy sent it to you Right. And they it's don't up present to you. it to every Tom, Dick, and Harry. Right. So I would say, and I'm not saying this to make you sound conceited, but apparently there had to be a reason he made sure I present, you know, he presented it with me as the instrument to you all, that you <laughs> you were in the right time and right frame of mind to um, receive the information. It was. Thank, thank you. Thank it you. Was, because it, it was like. It was well needed right at this moment. It yeah, is, it's, it it's the was. same thing like in a session, like this woman I did by a phone on the podcast a few nights ago. Um, and again, nothing to do with religion. I give them the title they earned, just like I called my dentist doctor last week. Right. And I said to this, because I saw St. Barbara up here. And I said to this woman, I didn't mention anything about St. Barbara. And I said, I just have to say this. You've been feeling so stuck lately, like a rock in a hard place, almost like you feel like you're in prison. And she said, yes. I said, I'm not saying you're an Alcatraz. Well, I don't think you would be anyway. There's nobody there anymore except the ghosts. But um, in any case, I explained to her then. I said, nothing to do with religion, so don't think that. But St. Barbara appears. And St. Barbara usually reaches out in compassion when somebody feels stuck um, like rock in a hard place. Like she's in Catholicism, she's the patroness of prisoners, among other things. But um, the woman said yes, and I just told her, I said, you know, you can go on Google her and YouTube her and find out if you want to find information about her. But, you know, certainly understand this. I'm, I feel her around you coming to you like it's a guardian angel saint. However, it, you can ask her to help you to help yourself, but you have to do it yourself. Right. Ultimately, um, she's not going to wave a magic wand over there and make things go <clears throat> the way you would want. So she understood that. But those souls, I think, are high in the perpetual light. And even one time St. Barbara had expressed that she had gone down to the lower levels. They can go to the lower levels, but the people of the lower levels can't go up into their neighborhood until they earn it mm -hmm. of their own selves. But anyway, she had gone there, down there in compassion to try to administer to them. And, you know, some people she had some luck with others, you know, take a hike, sister, they weren't interested. So, um, but that's, you know, it's all up to them.